Hi, I'm Bharatwaj Satyamurti from the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research, Bhopal. I'll be the instructor for your course, Fundamentals of Solution State NMR Spectroscopy, Principles and its Applications Focusing on Biomolecules. Let's take a closer look at what does this course have to offer you. So let's start with the very fundamental question, why learn NMR spectroscopy? Similar to the facts that humans have very unique fingerprint, molecules also have various unique fingerprints. In NMR spectroscopy, you will be looking at differences that arise for a given set of atoms based on the subtle changes that they experience in their electron cloud. When you are looking at pentane, it could be either n-pentane, isopentane or neopentane. So when you take this example, we are able to understand the fact that you could have uniquely different carbons. For instance, this carbon and this carbon are similar to each other. So is the case in isopentane where these two carbons are similar. In the case of neopentane, all these four carbons are equivalent to one another. One way of distinguishing them in order to understand what's going on is to make a simple substitution and see their IUPAC nomenclature, whether it's similar when you make substitution in different places. And on the other hand, you are able to see that these two carbons are similar in this case. On the other hand, you don't find any different carbons that end up coming. So one is able to understand there are three different types of carbons here, four different types of carbon, and only two different types of carbon. Basically, we mean this carbon and these four carbons highlighted are different from each other. When you take a look at their carbon spectrum, one is able to understand you get one, two, three peaks, you get one, two, three, four peaks here, and you get only two peaks in this case. So one is able to understand this is neopentane, while this is isopentane, and while this is n-pentane. So this is an NMR spectrum that you are trying to look at, and you are able to immediately understand that when molecules are very similar to each other, how can one end up distinguishing them? So NMR is a tool to understand it. What are the advantages of NMR is that it is atomistic in nature. Basically, you will be able to understand subtle differences that come up. And it's a non-invasive technique, meaning that if you end up using a sample, you don't have to worry. You will be able to get the sample back, retrieve it back, such that you can do more experiments with it. It helps you understand structure and dynamics. Dynamics is a uh, involved term, but for now, one could understand the fact that structure means something that is well-defined, while dynamic means something that is floppy and little flexible. And NMR helps you characterize both the rigidity and the flexibility of molecules, which gives it immense power. One of the important things is that one is able to do in solution state NMR is that one important aspect that we have to remember is that solution NMR spectroscopy preserves or is able to go very close to physiological conditions in order to mimic uh, biological systems to understand further. And importantly, it has a wide range of tools in order to distinguish things based on sizes and dynamics in terms of time scales of motion. So all this make NMR an extremely potent technique to understand various aspects of molecules. So what will we learn from this course? We will first learn how to define and understand the various fundamental concepts involved in the field of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. Followed by this, we will classify and discuss the different theoretical origin and explain the background of NMR experiments. This is extremely crucial so that we understand why something happens and how to exploit it further to do things that are previously not feasible. And to apply and construct the framework that we have developed in the previous part in order to understand one-dimensional and multi-dimensional NMR experiments. If you do not understand what one- and multi-dimensional NMR experiments are, do not worry. We will be introducing them as we go forward. And most importantly, we will learn to analyze, compare and contrast different experiments that are present in analyzing biomolecular systems. And finally, also to develop a hands-on training model on how basics of data processing and analysis of biomolecular model systems will be carried out. This is an important aspect of this course where you'll be using different software when given data, how that can be processed. What you will not learn in this course, you will not be working out 1D spectra of small organic inorganic molecules. So if you're expecting to analyze whether it's a carbonyl carbon, methyl carbon, you'll be doing it in the constant context of biomolecules, but not in the context of small organic inorganic molecules. So you'll not be looking at organometallic complexes, you'll not be looking at 
natural products uh, for that matter. You'll be looking at biomolecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. So what are the prerequisites required for this course? If you have some basics and vectors and matrices, it will help. Do not worry, we are trying to work towards introductory concepts on that and also in quantum mechanics. Luckily, you don't have to understand quantum mechanics in this case. If you learn the facts from quantum mechanics, we'll be able to take it and go forward. Very basics of spectroscopy would also be required. And once again, introductory topics on that is being prepared right now. And of course, you need to have a lot of uh, interest to understand and patience and perseverance to uh, believe the fact that you'll be able to learn when you put effort. And regular discussions would be encouraged where students are expected to ask questions if they don't understand something. The course will significantly be oriented towards problem solving and analytical thinking so that uh, finally, at the end of the course, there is a skill that one would be able to learn. Now, I'll briefly go over the contents of the course. As I said, some of the prerequisites that you might not know in terms of vector calculus and postulates of quantum mechanics, we will be trying to introduce with some questionnaires and solutions that will be given. To start with, we will try to look at the classical picture of NMR spectroscopy where simple vectors would be used to understand how an NMR spectrum comes up and various parameters that we would be looking forward to. And following this, we'll be developing a quantum mechanical picture of basic modules in NMR spectroscopy. Once again, do not worry if you're not able to follow any of the terms that are given here. However, you'll be introduced to all of this. And as we finish the second chapter, we would be having a good amount of understanding and also uh, ability to dissect apart why a few things work in a certain way. Following this, we will be applying the density matrix formulation in order to understand very basics of NMR spectroscopy. Having done this, we will be focusing a few classes on basic NMR instrumentation and data processing. There will be a hands-on component that will be involved in terms of data processing as we go forward. And after having understood the basics of one-dimension NMR spectroscopy and instrumentation, we will be looking at Introduction to multidimensional NMR, in particular 2D NMR spectroscopy, where different experiments such as the COSI and the HMBC and uh, HSQC will be introduced. And finally, after having developed all of this, we'll be trying to look at how this is used to analyze uh, biomolecules in, like a protein and a nucleic acid. The textbooks that will be followed in this course are Protein NMR Spectroscopy by Kavanaugh and uh, other authors, and also Fundamentals of Protein Spectroscopy by Rule and Hitchens and Spin Dynamics by Malcolm Levitt and Understanding NMR Spectroscopy by James Keeler. The different books are given so that you gain perspectives. Even if you follow one textbook, you should be able to gain most of the ground uh, that one ends up getting. If you even follow one textbook, that should be more than enough. On the other hand, James Keeler's lectures are available on YouTube. The link shall be shared with you. And also his textbooks is available for free online as well. So what will be the kind of assessments you're trying to look for? You will have regular assignments and quizzes that will uh, happen throughout the 12 weeks of uh, lecturing that we have. Problem solving in terms of simulation, data processing, and uh, hands-on characterization of biomolecules is being planned. Of course, you'll be taught all this and then be assessed on it. Do not worry about it. Discussions are strongly encouraged and also individual presentations will be the way that you'll be assessed towards. Video lectures will most probably be uploaded to YouTube so that you can watch these lectures at leisure and interactive sessions will be held such that doubts and all that can be cleared. We expect that you have a computer or a laptop that can connect to internet where most of the software will be accessed through a platform called NMR Box. You are strongly encouraged to go and take a look at what is available here. More introduction will be given in the course as we go forward. Class details, online links, and interaction schedules shall be shared with you over an email. I hope you will find interest in learning this course and looking forward towards your enthusiastic participation. Thank you very much.